Today, the world is in crisis. We have an amazing amount of chronic disease happening on the planet, and one of the most potent, widespread pandemics that we're facing is diabetes. There's 246 million people today who suffer from diabetes. It's a major pandemic situation that we have to pay attention to. We are one of the sickest countries in the world. It don't have to be that way. Type 2 diabetes has tripled in the last 10 years. That's a lifestyle disease. That's all about what you're putting into your mouth. We have an unbelievable epidemic of diabetes in this country. The rates of diabetes are skyrocketing, and we have a, a, a parallels the epidemic of obesity. We have an, the most overweight population ever in the history of the human race, and it's still growing fatter. I believe that the definition of insanity is doing the same things over and over and over and expecting a different result. We have to do something completely different and innovative. This is the ghetto. This is it. This is Pimlico. This is where I used to live when I was a kid, actually. <laughs> I used to actually live in the other building down there, but this is where my sister lives. So hopefully she's in. This is my sister, Nicole. How are you doing? I'm always checking on her to make sure she's all right. She's frying nuggets. That's a lot of grease. Good Lord. Be quiet. I guess the most interesting thing that happened to me in the last year is being diagnosed with diabetes. I've been uh, having to go to the bathroom a lot, but I didn't know why. So I went to the emergency room and they checked my blood sugar. They told me that my blood sugar was at 1,200. Now, the normal range for blood sugar is about uh, 80 to 100. So I was far behind that range. When I went in, the doctor said, you should be dead. <laughs> it wasn't you had a possibility of dying. At 1,200, you should not, you should have something wrong. Well, my pills at, have one size for when I'm ready to, exactly. ready to get eaten. Well, I need to get a refill tomorrow. I've always dreamed of living to 102, you know, that's one of my goals. So to hear that already so young, you've been diagnosed with something that has a major impact on your health, it, it took me for a loop and just made me think that there's so much more that I have to do and I shouldn't be thinking that I have a lot of time to do it. So <laughs> my main thing is just getting back healthy and making sure that I stay healthy. And so whatever it takes to get that, that done, I'm willing to make that, uh, that sacrifice. Uh, as growing up, the Italian people